Hello everyone and welcome to the latest video on my channel Digger Evans Model Railway. What you can see in front of you here are uh, what we call bridge supports. They're a new product from Scale Model Scenery and you can set them up uh, to any height you want within reason of course. They're uh, just four pieces of I don't know I think it's plywood or something and uh, you just put them together they clip together they're very very robust very easy to do and you can make them higher or lower I've set mine round about the 80 mil mark which is the optimum bridge height for uh, a double o gauge as you can see I've got a pile of cars to the left there and uh, they're all over the shop so I looked at a few materials and I tried using styrofoam for a bridge but that would have meant I had to cover it in plaster and getting a straight neat cut was a dreadful affair on the styrofoam even with a, a proper styrofoam cutter so I, I opted for uh, for using this what you will see now uh, this is plasterboard my friend is a builder and, uh, and he gave me a, a big chunk of plasterboard so it's coming useful for this first of all what I've done I've put some score lines down with a scalpel very very faintly and put some uh, weathering powders into those that just to uh, give it the appearance of expansion gaps uh, underneath not finished but I, I've put some sort of duct in it's it's hollow under there if we can just see that end it's hollow I'm going to finish all the edges off with cardboard so we can't see what that uh, the, the plasterboard edges and where I'm up to so far is I'll just uh, sit this down if we can there we go I'll just move along slightly I've built this uh, rampart bridge edge here uh, that's the piece that will be going over the tracks on this side uh, so I've, I've built it taller and, and I've put a, a little ornamentation on there on both sides of the bridge like that it obviously wants weathering and what have you oops this edge it either it needs a crash barrier or some steel sort of fencing or something substantial I'm not, I don't want it to be solid all the way along but it, it does need something that's going to uh, stop the traffic from uh, coming over the edge in an accident I've got for, to divide the lanes up we, we on motorways and dual carriageways and stuff we do have um, sorry about the wrinkling we do have concrete barriers and so I, I put a couple of cars on so we can we can see what we're doing it's a single lane floor in each direction and I've got these these are a 3d printed barrier and they want decorating up to be I'll just put that's a slight wobble on it to be um, more concrete colored and, and, and weathering making dirty and these will actually go along the center I've got, I've got a much bigger piece of bridge work to do fly over on the other side of the layout uh, but I'm, I'm not going to bring that up and show you on the bench because it's twice as long and it's awkward it'll be very awkward to uh, to put it to put it on the bench I'm going to pick us up and go to this end because if you look at that edge it's got I've cut it at an angle and that's going to hit the backboard the scenic backboard and I'm going to put a mirror against the wall and, and disguise it as best I can and that will bring the bridge over the rails at an angle and give it more interest where the motorway bridge was just straight square across the uh, the tracks and it wasn't very very interesting at all so that's uh, just about where I'm up to uh, there's a lot of weathering to do and what have you and, and rain marks and things things like that I've just used cardboard for this four mil thick cardboard uh, which seems to be very very good for stuff like this and it's, it's fairly substantial 
and I've used the same just along these edges so that we don't see the plasterboard at all and I think it just tidies it up and makes it look neat we just need to uh, come up with a solution for for along these these open edges uh, if anyone has any ideas what to do let me know I, I do have some fencing I do have these fence panels but I think they're too tall and really not adequate do you know they don't look sort of tough enough or or right for the job even if we cut them down and stuff it wouldn't look right so I'm not going to use those I have another job in mind for those but it's not going to be for that so really that's all it is it's a couple of minutes in looking at uh, what I've been up to the next time we see this bridge uh, it's going to be installed on the layout and uh, on the north side crossing near enough to the station and uh, hopefully it's going to look good just remains for me to say thank you everyone who has subscribed recently I really do appreciate it and my existing subscribers thank you ever so much for your continued support I'll get off now and uh, I'll speak to you all very soon bye bye for now and take care my friends bye bye now